as a positive person and you don't mean any harm to anyone it's just weird how you can be perceived as as phony or or someone that is trying to be better than everyone else or i don't know what they perceive people to be i really don't understand but i've noticed that a lot outside like i said it's not just on here it's off as well um you know so the value of words is something that we should all become aware of and of course we know that words matter it's just a lot of times do we care you know we know that our words can hurt someone but do we care if it hurts someone what is the intention do we want it to hurt them or not you know and a lot of times people they don't think before they speak they just act out on impulse you know it's like oh i feel this way i'm emotional so let me just say something reckless because i'm feeling the way and we're always going to feel some type of way you know what i mean no matter what happens that's just how the world works but like even if you feel insecure or intimidated by a person, that's no excuse to come at them sideways. You know what I mean? And it's just like, I'm going to keep experimenting with those head to heads because I really want to figure these people out, you know, and I, I'm going to test them in different ways. And I'm definitely going to let you guys know the results that I get because I got to figure that that formula out. I got to figure out what is going on because it's not making sense. So, you know what I mean? But yeah, so words can penetrate far deeper than we realize, you know what I mean? And a lot of times I feel like maybe it's that we don't really get to know each other well enough to know how to talk to each other. Maybe it's that we talk to everyone the same way, and that's not something you should do because we're all different people. We all perceive the world differently. We all have different kinds of emotions, and we all like respond differently and we all like cope differently you know so let's say you have a friend that's very tough and you guys joke around and they may see it as harmless jokes but let's say you have a, a more sensitive friend and they might take it like as a blow to their self-esteem or something you know what i mean even if you did mean it as a joke but it's just like everyone can't handle the same type of pressure you know what I mean? You can apply certain amounts of pressure to certain people, not everyone. You shouldn't have the same energy with everyone because it's not always going to be appropriate. You know what I mean? Like just because you're a tough person doesn't mean that you, you can exude that type of energy in every direction. Because let's say you're going after a job interview or something like that and you come across as aggressive. Do you think they're going to hire you? No. Versus if you come across as very lax, but you're still like serious to a certain extent, like you, you take this interview seriously, you value this job, you know what you're doing, you're capable, the resume is there, you know, the credentials are there, like you don't have to prove yourself, but that attitude is there, that leadership skill is there to show like, hey, I'm here to show out, this is what I'm about, you know, I can help your team, I can build your team. They're going to take that kind of person versus somebody that comes across as very arrogant or doesn't really care. Like, oh, I don't need this job. If you hire me or not, it's not going to make or break my day. Whatever. I'm just in here because I'm trying to see what I can do. But if not, like, it's cool. Whatever. Y'all need me. I don't need you. Like that kind of arrogance is not going to help you in life or saying the wrong things during the interview, things like that. It's just not going to help you. You know what I mean? So that's why we got to watch what we say, because a lot of times we could ruin opportunities and don't even know, you know, we could burn bridges and don't even realize that you need that bridge to cross to the best destination of your life. You never know where that person can help you get to or how, you know what I mean? So it's just never going to help you to be reckless, you know, no matter how angry you get or how fed up you are with what's happening around you is no excuse to take it out on other people. It's never going to be an excuse to take it on other people. I'm getting blown now. Blown now. I'm my soul now. I don't care if you, you're going through something traumatic. It's never okay to take it out on other people. You know what I mean? Like you got to find better ways to cope. And I'm not talking to anybody in the comments. I'm just saying in general. You know what I mean? Like overall as people, we, I should say we, you know what I mean? We got to find better ways to mend ourselves, to heal ourselves. That's not going to work. All that's doing is, is breeding more negativity inside of you. All it's doing is, is breeding more confusion and frustration. And it's just not helping. 
it's just it's it's passive aggressive it's just very destructive and if anything it's self-sabotaging behavior you know and that's one of the most common things of what happens when people don't don't think before they speak they're sabotaging their blessings before they can even get there you know what i'm saying so it's good to always phrase our words and, and choose them carefully um you know phrase them a certain way like think a little bit before you say something you know and think about how okay if i say this can this make or break someone's character you know and in order to receive respect we must first give it you know you can't demand respect if you don't even exude respect for others you know that doesn't make sense that's like saying you want positivity but you're always negative it doesn't make sense you know, so there's an acronym that um, I found out about. It's called THINK. Is this true? T, that's the T. Is it helpful? That's the H. Is it inspiring? That's the I. Is it necessary? That's the N. And is it kind? That's the K. You know, so true, helpful, inspiring, necessary, kind. So those are the, the main key things to think about, you know, is what you're about to say something factual or is it just nonsense just to hurt the person or I don't know. Are you just having ulterior motives or is it helpful? You know what I mean? Is it productive? Is it going to further anything or is it going to break something down? You know, is it inspirational or is it going to take away somebody's inspiration? You know, is it necessary or is it something that you just feel you have to do because you're in your feelings? That's not a necessity. So that's why I say everything doesn't require your energy. Everything doesn't need you to react. You know what I mean? You don't have to react to everything, you know, and is it kind? That's something we should worry about first and foremost, always be kind to others. And if you can't, as as we've all heard growing up, if you can't say something nice, don't say anything at all. Our parents taught that from us being little children. Like, if you can't say something nice, why are you talking? You know what I mean? And that's how they've always taught us, like that discipline. And I know there are so many parents out there where people grew up with parents who were really adamant about that phrase. Like, if you can't say something nice, you better not say it because that punishment is going to be severe. You know what I mean? And you knew as a child not to say something crazy because you knew either you was going to get tore up some kind of way or you were not going to be able to indulge in an activity you know what I mean? Or something. Something was going to be taken away from you by your parents. You knew that. You know, so you knew not to play with the bomb. I'm getting blown now. Blown now. Sometimes you need to speak up, you know, but it's about how you speak up. It's about how you come across. It's not necessarily in those cases what you're saying, but the energy behind it and the purpose behind it. You know what I mean? So you might have great intentions for something. You know, you might have the best of intentions, but if you don't recognize how you're coming across, it's not going to be effective, you know, or you might have the worst intentions and, you know, your words can come across the wrong way on purpose. You know, it just depends. I don't know. Everybody's different, um, you know, but understand that your your speech plays a dramatic impact on everyone around you, not just you, you know, so if you always keep in mind how you can offend other people and how that can ruin new connections and new opportunities, I think it will matter so much more to you, you know, because think about the future. Don't think about the present time when you're in those moments. Think about after all of those emotions are done, like after you've calmed down and all that stuff, are you going to feel bad about what you just said or what you're about to say? You know, and if the answer is yes, then don't say it, you know. If it's something that you know you can't take back, especially, and understand that for sure, Understand that once you say this, you cannot unsay it. You know, you can apologize a million times for things, but people never forget how you make them feel. You know, people might forget what you say, but they'll never forget the emotions that you make them feel. So if you always make people feel bad, they're not going to want to be around you. You know, if you make people feel good, they're going to want to be around that. They're going to find that to be inspirational. So we got to watch how we are towards people. I'm getting blown now. Blown now. So, now. so it's not a popularity contest, you know? I, I, that's why I say I find that a lot of people, that's what they're after. They're trying to be popular. They're trying to get clout. 
So they do whatever they got to do to get clout. And it's like that clout is not forever. And that's all it is. It's just a temporary amount of popularity or success. You know, it might be all funny and all that on the Internet or whatever. People might think they too cool to have things happen to them in real life. Because this is not this is just an app, guys, at the end of the day. And our reality is our reality. You know what I mean? And even in the outside world, outside of this, your reality is your reality. So whatever you put out there is what you're going to get back. So be careful, you know, as they say, respect your elders, things like that. You know what I mean? Because you're going to be elderly one day, too, you know, and you're, you know, respect people's children. Because if you don't have kids, you're going to have children one day, too. You wouldn't want nobody talking to your kids like that. You know what I mean? Think about stuff like that and, and people's moms and stuff like, oh, my God, I've seen so many people go on, pe go off on people's moms and I'm appalled. I'm like, that's somebody's mom. Yeah. Like, that could be your mom. Like, what are you doing? You know what I mean? Like, come on, I understand. Even if they say something out of pocket, that's somebody's mom. It doesn't matter. You just got to let them win. I'm sorry. You just going to have to take the L in that case. Like. You're not going to be out here disrespecting people's parents. You know, come on. We're better than that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just see it all the time. And I feel like it's because society doesn't care about boundaries anymore. Like, they're teaching these kids how to be reckless. And they're like, just say anything to anybody. Who cares? And it's like, we all care. It matters. You know what I mean? Like, these kids, they don't have a fair shot like a lot of us did growing up. They just get all kinds of mixed messages on social media. And this is appalling. Yeah. So that's why they talking to you like, shut up. I don't have to listen to you. And it's like, wait, who are you talking to? Like, I'm older than you. Wait a minute now. I'm trying to help. Like, don't do that, you know? So that's why every chance I get when I see my nephew, I try to make sure he not doing all that out-of-pocket stuff because I'm not going to allow him to grow up and talk to me crazy. I'm sorry. He's going to remember me as the sweet aunt, and he's going to respect me. You know what I mean? So... That's how I look at things, you know? So not only do you need to think before you speak, but, like, if you see these kids or somebody that doesn't know any better, try to help them, too. You know what I mean? That's why that leadership kicks in. So just pay attention to those things. Um, you know, so, like I said, verbal and text, all kinds of different things, the little details like that. And just understand your words can shape your mindset as well. You know, if, if you're always saying negative things, you're always going to feel negative. But if you speak positivity into your life and throughout the day, you're going to feel that positivity. Like, you know, I wasn't feeling the best when I came up here because I'm very tired. But at the same time, when we start talking about motivation, my. I'm getting blown now. I'm in my zone now. So I'm oh, let's see. Um, would you say that you care about how you impact those around you? Oh, absolutely. I think. How do I put this in, in a good way? Um, I think what you advertise um, a lot about yourself is how people portray you to be. Yes. Um, I think it's actually quite more of like a domino effect. Yes. Uh, when people pick up more on trends, they like to follow that. So whether it being good or bad, um, right. people are always going to look at how you're kind of displaying yourself. It's If it's in a bad way, they're going to look at you and just have this wrong perception of you. But if you're doing good things yeah. and you believe in good things, um, I think it goes a long way. So it's it's quite infectious. So to put in a better example, um, like today at start, I paid for the person behind me. I don't know who they are. Oh, okay. I love that. Um, and after doing that, it's funny because the person, the cashier told me, hey, this has been going on ever since we opened. So thank you for passing it along. And I had no idea. So again, it's, it's a domino effect. I mean, it's as simple as, hey, paying for the person behind you and that person behind you is going to pay for the person behind them. Nice. So, you know, just believe in the good in people and seeing the good in people will allow you to actually um, display better morals, if that makes sense. I'm getting blown now.